This is a simple diagram depicting the different parts of a practical generator. So the frame or the yoke is depicted here. This is the enclosure of uh, the full generator. Then there are field poles. And the field windings are wound on the field poles. And then there is a armature core on which the armature conductors are wound. These are the armature conductors. Then there is a shaft which passes through the center of the armature and it causes uh, the rotation of the shaft causes the armature to rotate and then there is a commutator segments which act as a rectifier and the brushes are connected to the commutator segments which which will be used as external to take out the current or the induced EMF to the external circuit This video is about the different parts of a DC generator. So, so the first part is the frame or the yoke. The frame or the yoke is an enclosure which holds or which encloses the full unit of the generator. And then there is pole coils or the field coils. These are the coils or the windings on pa passage of current which produces the electromagnetic field. Which when cut by the conductors of the armature produces an EMF in the conductor and which will flow as an external current in the external circuit when circuit when closed. The other part is a pole or a pole shoe. The pole is an is a structure on which the field windings are wound. The next important part is the armature core. The armature core is a circular is a cylindrical core on which the armature windings are wound then there is commutator which is placed on the shaft in such a way in such a way connected to the armature conductor to rectify the ac induced emf in the conductor to dc and the brush is connected to the con commutator in such a way that output EMF can be connected or can be transferred to the external circuit and bearings form an important part of the shaft. 